moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. It's a beautiful day outside, magical. The sun is shining, it's getting warmer here in Germany. The gentle breeze, the birds are chirping, and everything is starting to sprout. Are you starting to sprout? Let's explore that today. Welcome everyone to the Moving to Oneness podcast. I'm Mylene Elke, your host. I use the word magical because it is. It's everything so in harmony, right? The nights, they're still under zero, under freezing, but the days are getting warmer. And you can see the excitement within the plants, right? To burst out and to break through. The first flowers are coming out of the ground. On the roses, you can see the leaves. Other leaves are saying hello. So what is breaking out within you? What do you desire now to live? And in our chaotic times at the moment, and we're still in a little bit of this unstructuring to restructure, right? To dissolve, to create newness. What are your flavors? What are your intentions? Share that with us and with me. And I want to support you today on this. So for me, really interesting, I have been a little demobilized in a way the last four weeks. Uh, some pinched nerves in my neck and vertebrae created pain within my right arm. The arm of action, <laughs> right, stands for that. Also the vertebrae, the realignment of nerves that looking and rebuilding my nervous system. So for me, the nervous system has always been really interesting. One, because I have cerebral palsy. I don't know if I've told you. So I tighten up my body, especially on my right side. And my neck goes a little bit to the side. And it feels like now it's time to change that, to be really who I am, what my name even says, right? Mylene, I'm this connection line. And when I'm totally connected, fully present, I'm much more upright. I walk different. I walk straight. I sit straight. And then energies from the skies can flow through and the energies from the ground can flow through with ease. And I create my unique way, style, my leanish. Now, yeah, that's in the optimal state. But I have neglected that a little bit self myself or I should say I have pulled back a little bit and held back to go into my fullness. I always strive for it but then there comes this time right what do old patterns do I want it to dissolve? The patterns that keep me feeling unworthy maybe too strong of a word, but it has that flavor to it. So do you have that too? Because all of you who are listening, you are leaders. You are a person that is creating newness, that is here to create an impact, to bring messages out, to be a forerunner, to be a leader, to live your knowledge here on this earth for others to synchronize to. Right? That's why we are such a community here. The similarities, the, the recognition of how important it is to be ourselves so others can be themselves and bring their gifts and their talents out into the world so that the change that we all desire and that why we're here on this planet at the moment 
to create that change can start or can move forward and finalize. So for me, the when I was in, in this pain and I was sitting, everyone, a week and a half on my couch at night because I couldn't lie down on the bed. It really hurt. I had a lot of time to contemplate and to observe nature. I had big windows looking outside. I saw stars in the new moon. I saw the full moon. I saw the storms during the full moon, the winds, the blowing, the gushing, that change came and it did something to me. I had to experience with a full presence what was happening outside. I also needed so much less sleep. That was really interesting. Or if I slept, it was in short increments. And still now, I don't need so much sleep anymore. So a realignment took place. And I'm someone I like to get hit over the head <laughs> before I act or do something new sometimes. Or I need a double and triple and quadruple signs to move me. Even though sometimes I do it myself, but then the thicker ones. And really, and in that time, I had to remember all of my gifts, all of my tools, if it is shamanism, if it's sound, if it's energy work, if it's going into the light, if it's sensing my whole body, using my own hands of, of a physical manipulation of the body, then it was recognizing that people are out there that are here for me, because in those times, I don't know how it is sometimes for you, but maybe it's the same. I thought, ah, there's no one here for me. <laughs> I'm all alone. Boom. Next day. I couldn't say it anymore. People uh, invited me and friends that, you know, really good in, in pain support or are in the medical, holistic, medical direction appeared. Yeah. And there was though a whole week and a half where there were no appointments at doctors. There were no appointments at physical therapy. I was I had to really experience what I don't want to be then fully open it's like there was an ultimate tightening to then burst out so it, within me the same thing happened like nature pulling one more time together before now moving forward and I did change I do change I have changed and I will change I'm more quiet I'm more me the wisdom I speak is a little different and I'm more myleenish. So are you moving into being more of who you are? And that is needed right now. Again, because you are the forerunner. You're bringing these new thought patterns, these new ideas onto this plane. And only you have them. And only in your style they need to be expressed right now. There are no others that are really doing what you're doing. There's no one else who's doing things like I am doing, and that is needed. And building up the, in a way, the strength, the confidence, the surety of saying, yes, this is it. My style is going to work. My style is right, especially the right, right? We have been told and manipulated by society or old ways or other ways that how it has to be. But in a way that hasn't really worked so well, or let's say it has worked until now, but now something new is starting. It's like spring, like the tiny buds that are coming through, these leaf buds, not even the flower buds yet, but the greenery, the skeleton, the growth. So you can stand up straight like a beacon of light and be seen and be sturdy and be present and relaxed and there's a backbone and the roots are in the ground so what are you going through now how are you putting your roots down in what topics or what ways have you or are you looking at things about yourself that you want to dissolve that are not working for you anymore and that you just maybe sometimes need to switch or take a few new degrees of repositioning to bring what is needed because this chaotic time is almost done so it is also timely to take look 
at it. And it is independent if you're now a healer, if you are in finance, if you're a mother, if you're a teacher, if you're an artist, and we're many combinations of these things, right? If you're an engineer, because what needs to come out is your style of creativity and your style of expression. So an idea would be to reconnect to your landscape where you've grown up, connect with your home land, maybe even the place or piece of land if you can go back or you can mentally travel there and sense it and feel it and get support from that environment. And maybe in some areas your old home won't exist anymore, something new has been built out, but then still concentrate on the earth below, the energies of that place. And that will feed you, that will support you, that will give you answers to your questions that you have. So what country are you born in? What state? What city? What street? What house number? And if you were born in a hospital, where were you taken to then as well? So you may have to look at both places there too. Hmm? Because the first 24 hours are often very important for us. And sense. And what was the landscape around you? Were you in the mountains? Were you in the a desert? Were you amongst trees? Was it very urbane or urban? Like a lot of concrete. Even if it was a lot of concrete. Go below into the ground, direction to the core of the earth and see what is there for you. And that gives you that sturdiness, and especially into your feet, into your legs, into your lower abdomen, into your hips, right? This connection, and then combine it and bring it together where you're living right now. And like spiral the information together, and then go up into the skies, and what is brought you from up there where are you right now and where do you want to go right we can create with the future so in finding my strengths and my uh, purpose or fine-tuning into it it's all of the vertebrates all of the alignment and the nervous system that goes like a line i'm like a connective line of the cosmos and the earth bring out my wisdom, highlight beauty in the world as I do on this show, but it's independent wherever I go and look. If it's in the Mayan calendar, if it is in a human design, if it is in it's my birthday month, so I'm an Aries, a spring Aries, a March Aries. It's always the same message for me. It's even in my name. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk about that on another show if we get closer to my birthday. To bring this connection. So that's why my body was not fully doing that. And I dictate or dictated in a way to go through what I went through and I'm still going through in becoming me again and letting go of all the things I had taken on again from others or had used to tighten myself and condense myself so I don't have to go and be that. And you may have too. So where do you pull together where you're a little hesitant to be the beautiful being, the messenger, the impactful person, the writer, the artist, the engineer, right? The creative, the cook. What are you bringing? And slowly let go or also make these fine-tuning changes. So whatever you do and act on becomes your medicine to make you more precious, to you make your expression be more seen by others. 
Again, I'll take the rose where you see the little buds and the first tiny leaves are coming through. That is your style now. So you're preparing at this time to be then fully seen. So that may be even uh, what structures in your home. Is there a cleaning to take place? Spring cleaning or fall cleaning, wherever you are on this planet. What can be given away? What needs to be upgraded? What needs tender loving care? Is it your body? Does your body need a little tender loving care? Certain furnishings, certain books, uh, maybe art material, even in your computer. Does it need a spring cleaning, fall cleaning? So this is uh, what coming. It's so the next few weeks take a little time, I think, to support yourself, to make your home the medicine, to make your history where you come from, your landscape, your culture, your fertile ground. To take in all these styles of medicines that you've learned and tools and make them your own and bring your own little twist out into the world and all of this. So there's a song for you to do that with more ease, to create your style a la you, <laughs> right? And do know we don't have to do it alone. There are others that can support you, what you need, ask them if you need certain things, advice, input, knowledge, time, an open ear to listen, uh, accountability, or where you can just speak out and share and they just listen without not saying anything, but you at least spoke it out or write it out and someone to read it. What do you need? And our community here anyway, right? If you come maybe to the Facebook group, share that a little bit with us or they're all like-minded people. There you can find fascinating collaborators. The group is called Moving to Oneness on Facebook. And by the way, I'm working on the a website, so we'll have there a place for a community as well. So here's the song, sounds for you to be, to become, and to build that structure, that base for you to really put into your roots and to comfortably and curiously sprout out your leaves. Bumble 
The tones I was singing, I could feel it vibrate in my lower body, lower chakras. So maybe there for you too, you felt the bass and the top of the bass for you to be supported, efficient, optimal, with ease. So I, you may have felt it right there as well. Hope you did. So have fun being who you are and building upon your own wisdom, your own knowledge, your own experiences. And creating now the foundation and the structures that save you time in the future, attract many, many people to your work, and that on that again, you can build immensely a huge crown of a tree with many, many, many leaves. <laughs> uh, that is my vision for you and myself, for all of us. So enjoy this time we have at the moment. And thank you for being who you are. Thank you for listening. I am Eileen, your host of the Moving to Wellness Podcast. Bye-bye.